game of life is played on a theoretically infinite square grid, where each cell can be on or off, or in other words, alive or dead. Given the current state of the cells in this grid universe, there are rules determining which cell will live or die in the next generation. Any live cell with less than two live neighbors will die. You can think of this as dying by underpopulation. Any live cell with two or three live neighbors lives on to the next generation. If a cell has more than three live neighbors, it dies, which you can think of as death by overpopulation. And finally, any dead cell with exactly three live neighbors becomes a live cell, as if it were born by reproduction. Remarkably complex patterns emerge from this simple set of rules. The game of life has its own elaborate terminology for classifying different kinds of objects and their behavior, including oscillators, objects that periodically repeat themselves, sparks, objects that eventually die out completely, still lifes, objects that don't change, spaceships, objects that translate themselves across the grid, and many others. I'll reference names from the life lexicon for the objects we use. We have a finite size screen and finite computer memory, so instead of an infinite grid, we'll let these rules wrap around at the boundaries. We're going to use the game of life to generate music, but how can we turn a two-dimensional grid into a musical instrument? One way is to think of it like a guitar. Each row is a string, and each column is a fret on the fretboard. We define some pitch spacing between the strings, for example a whole step, and use chromatic pitch spacing between each fret. There's an instrument called a harpeggi that's laid out in exactly this way. sound, we can use the notes of a diatonic scale, like the major scale, on every string, and space each string by diatonic intervals. A physical instrument couldn't do this without a special fret layout on every string. A lot of shapes in the game of life will contain cell clusters close together, sometimes leading to dense, overcrowded harmony. To mitigate this, we can play only the newborn cells rather than every single living cell in each generation. This helps space things out, giving more clarity to the results. the number of concurrent notes by only playing the highest note on each string, much like how a physical stringed instrument would behave. two ideas and play only the highest newborn note on each string. I'll use all of these note mapping techniques throughout this video. Let's listen to some examples. <laughs> 